The secret of masonry, like the secret of life, can be known only by those who seek it, serve it, live it. It cannot be uttered. It can only be felt and acted. William Taft For centuries, secret organizations have been the ruler of society, operating from the shadows, guiding the course of history, and wielding power in ways that most of us can hardly imagine. Within these secret societies, they share a common thread. Hidden knowledge and secrets given only to the elite to navigate and manipulate the fabric of reality in a way that appears to be magical. 33 Degree Masonry is one of these elusive societies. And throughout history, some of the most influential figures have been members of the Freemason Brotherhood. From founding fathers like George Washington to visionaries like Benjamin Franklin. Other famous Freemasons include Mozart, Winston Churchill, Mark Twain, Henry Ford, and as many as 14 U.S. presidents, including Andrew Jackson, Franklin Roosevelt, and Harry Truman. And Masonic symbolism can be found everywhere, interwoven into our daily lives in a prominent way. From the all-seeing eye, to the square and compasses seen on buildings, historical markers, and monuments, to the mosaic pavement found in places such as the Congressional Library. This Masonic symbolism has permeated various aspects of everyday life, often without the explicit recognition of those not familiar with Freemasonry and reflecting the widespread influence of Masonic traditions. How did this influence become so widespread? Many of the greatest and most prominent minds in history were Freemasons. They had secret knowledge of how to govern and rule their destiny. One of their secrets is a deep understanding of universal laws and principles that govern success, power, and abundance. When harnessed correctly, the secrets they understood led to power and profound influence. What sets these groups apart is their mastery of ancient wisdom and universal principles that many pass by, unaware of the profound impact they can have on their lives. These secrets, which revolve around the laws of the universe itself, are the keys to unlocking potential, achieving greatness, and even altering the course of history. If we ourselves tap into the same magic that these notable figures have used to shape their destinies, principles that are seemingly reserved for the elite and those with knowledge of esoteric wisdom, we may also achieve any greatness that we choose in our own lives. These principles are woven into the fabric of the universe, accessible to anyone willing to seek them out and apply them with intention and purpose. However, the knowledge of how to use these universal secrets to one's advantage remains elusive to the majority. And it's not just about knowing that these laws exist, it's about understanding how they interconnect and how to apply them properly to be in harmony with your personal goals. In this video, I'll unlock three secrets of what has been taught behind the closed doors of these organizations and uncover how you can use this to create your reality in very deliberate and precise ways. I'll not only share these principles with you, but also teach you three powerful ways to apply them and put them into action so that you harness the innate power within you for massive personal transformation, success, and abundance. Let's talk about a very influential 33-degree Mason, Manly Palmer Hall. Manley Hall was also an author and mystic and made significant contributions to the study and understanding of esoteric philosophy. Hall viewed Freemasonry as a custodian of ancient wisdom and a path to personal transformation and enlightenment, and endeavored to share this in a way that everyone had access to it. This work spans a wide array of subjects including mysticism, ancient religions, symbolism, and philosophy, but can be somewhat overwhelming and difficult to comprehend. His most notable work, The Secret Teachings of All Ages, published in 1928, is a broad exploration of ancient philosophies, mystical traditions, and secret societies from around the world. It includes discussions on universal truths that form the foundation of human spiritual knowledge, and has been highly regarded within various circles for its depth and exploration on the deeper aspects of Masonic teachings and their interconnectedness with the broader spectrum of mystical and philosophical traditions. Within the secret teachings of all ages, Hall delves into Hermeticism, an ancient spiritual and philosophical tradition. Hermetic principles, as derived from the Hermetic texts like the Emerald Tablet, are pivotal in understanding the workings of the universe, the interconnectivity of all things, and how to apply these universal truths for success and abundance in all areas of life. 
Manley Hall put great emphasis on the first secret in his works, the principle of mentalism. This is the first hermetic principle. The all is mind, the universe is mental. This principle underlines the concept that the underlying reality of this universe is that there is one universal mind or field of consciousness, and that all phenomena in the material world are ultimately mental in nature. This foundational belief in the power of the mind to shape reality is a core tenet of Hermetic philosophy and is echoed throughout Hall's discussions on various mystical traditions. The Hermetic principle of mentalism also finds a parallel in the Masonic teaching that the mind is the foundation of reality. 33rd degree Freemasons are believed to hold the understanding that through the power of thought and intention, one can manifest changes in the physical world. One of their secrets is holding the belief that those who master their minds can master the world around them. The elite, versed in these teachings, use this magical principle to their advantage, shaping societal narratives and outcomes through directed thought and intention. How do they do this? With five simple steps. One, they hold a conscious intention of their intended outcome. Two, they focus on its realness as an already existing fact. Three, they think, speak, and act as if it's already so. Four, they take inspired action only as the way and means to make it tangible. And five, they allow the perfection of this universal principle that all is mind to work for them and align with the simplicity of that to provide the desired outcome. Notice that all of this is mental work. Even inspired action, which is much different from effort, comes from the mind. Harnessing the first hermetic principle, all is mind, involves understanding that your perceptions, beliefs, and thoughts shape your reality. By directing thought and intention deliberately, you influence your life and your environment. Man's status in the natural world is determined, therefore, by the quality of his thinking, Manly Hall. This law of mentalism is more about being than it is about doing. This is why so many can put in a tremendous amount of action and experience limited results. They choose to remain asleep to the power that being holds. But when you become aware of how to align and harmonize your chosen way of being with the principle of mentalism and the other principles that will be mentioned here, you will discover just how simple creating desired outcomes can be. Your only job is to clearly define the intention, what you desire, which will always have a why behind it, a reason. The universal mind's job provides the how and the when, which often includes a who or several who's. This principle always works, not sometimes, but always. The more intentional, focused and consistent you are in your being of the five steps, the quicker you allow this principle to work for you. Manley Hall, through his extensive writings on esoteric traditions, also wrote about the second secret to the magic taught to the elite Freemasons, the principle of vibration. In both Hermeticism and 33 degree Freemasonry, the principle of vibration, nothing rests, everything moves, everything vibrates, highlights the power of energy in its various forms. Hall taught that understanding the vibratory nature of the universe could lead to profound insights into the nature of reality itself. By recognizing that everything has its unique vibrational frequency, from the most ethereal forms of thought and spirit to the most material forms of matter, we can begin to understand the interconnectedness of all things and how that can influence our personal reality. However, the principle of vibration is often perceived to be something that is too complicated for the average person to understand, but it's actually quite simple. Simply put, everything that exists, both seen and unseen, emits a vibrational frequency. Everything is in motion. From the Kabbalion, it's stated, this hermetic principle was enunciated thousands of years ago by the masters of ancient Egypt. This principle explains that the differences between different manifestations of matter, energy, mind, and even spirit result largely from varying rates of vibration. An understanding of this principle with the appropriate formulas enables Hermetic students to control their own mental vibrations as well as those of others. He who understands the principle of vibration has grasped the scepter of power. Thoughts, words, sounds, and light are vibrations. 
our entire universe and everything within it, seen and unseen, is a vibrating mass of atoms and subatomic particles. By learning to become consciously aware of this truth and control what vibrations we are creating and emanating within ourselves and projecting into the unified field of consciousness, we can align and harmonize those vibrations to consistently manipulate that field and attract the things that we desire to experience in our lives. The Scepter of Power. In 33rd degree Freemasonry, they harness this principle, using vibrations such as those in words, symbols, and rituals to influence the energy of their surroundings and create desired outcomes. During Masonic rituals, specific words and phrases are recited with deliberate intention, each chosen for their historical significance and vibrational quality. These words are believed to carry specific energies that when voiced with collective focus and intention can elevate the vibrational frequency of the space and the individuals present. This deliberate engagement with vibrational energies reflects a profound understanding of how subtle forces can be directed to shape reality, illustrating the deep esoteric knowledge embedded within the highest ranks of Freemasonry. It is a sophisticated method of shaping reality, demonstrating that the universe's very fabric can be altered through sound, thought, and intention. Man is thus surrounded by a supersensible universe, of which he knows nothing because the centers of sense perception within himself have not been developed sufficiently to respond to the subtler rates of vibration of which that universe is composed, Manly Hall. So how can you use this second secret, the scepter of power and vibrational frequency to accomplish the same things in your life? Understanding that our feelings translate into vibrations that shape our experiences is the key to influencing the quality of our lives. The principle here is straightforward. The predominant feelings that we harbor that often surface automatically from the recesses of our subconscious mind act like magnets, keeping us aligned with experiences that resonate with those emotional states. Here's a four-step process to shift that in your favor. Number one, pause often at various times during your day to check in with how you're feeling. Recognize these feelings as indicators of the vibrational energy that you're currently emitting. Especially focus on moments of discomfort to develop the skill of shifting your emotional states. This practice will begin to lay the foundation for making a vibrational adjustment. Number two, whenever you catch yourself feeling negative emotions like anger, sadness, or frustration, take immediate steps to shift to a more positive state. One effective method is to concentrate on something that naturally brings you joy, such as thoughts of loved ones, cherished memories, or the simple presence of your pets. Maintain focus on this positive trigger until you feel your emotional state has genuinely shifted to a higher vibration. You'll know this when you've reached elevated states of emotion. Once you have a grasp on these two steps, the third step is to start actively cultivating states of love, gratitude, and joy. These high vibrational emotions are powerful attractors of positive experiences that align with them. Make it a practice to infuse your day with these feelings transforming your overall vibrational blueprint. And step four is to incorporate personal symbols or words into your practice, much like the elite harness symbols for vibrational work. Choose an object or a word that resonates deeply with you, representing your aspirations or desired feelings. While holding or focusing on this symbol, consciously fill it with the energy of your chosen positive feeling states. Let this symbol serve as a tactile reminder throughout your day helping you access and amplify those high vibrational emotions at will. This process will help you learn to manage your emotional states. By integrating these steps into your daily routine, you're actively molding your vibrational state to create a more joyful and fulfilling reality. In The Secret Teachings of All Ages, Manly Hall discusses the interconnectedness of all things and the idea that nothing happens by chance, but rather is a part of a divine order or cosmic law. His writings illustrate how ancient civilizations, philosophers, and esoteric traditions have worked with this principle, the principle of cause and effect, to gain deeper insights into the nature of reality and to live in harmony with the universal laws. Acknowledging every cause has its effect, every effect has its cause, everything happens according to law, the elite manipulate this principle to orchestrate events that appear coincidental, but are in fact carefully planned. This mastery over cause and effect enables them to remain several steps ahead, 
ensuring their continued dominance and the perpetuation of their influence across generations. Listen to these profound words from the Kabbalion describing this. The Hermeticists understand the art and methods of rising above the ordinary plane of cause and effect, to a certain degree, and by mentally rising to a higher plane, they become causers instead of effects. The masses of people are carried along, obedient to environment. The wills and desires of others stronger than themselves, heredity, suggestion, and other outward causes moving them about like pawns on the chessboard of life. But the masters, rising to the plane above, dominate their moods, characters, qualities, and powers, as well as the environment surrounding them, and become movers instead of pawns. They help to play the game of life, instead of being played and moved about by other wills and environment. They use the principle instead of being its tools. The masters obey the causation of the higher planes, but they help to rule on their own plane. Like all other universal laws, the law of cause and effect is unchanging and deliberate. It is precise in its application and delivery. It knows no prejudice and delivers an exact proportion to all based on the seeds that you choose to plant through your thoughts and feeling states. It always delivers back to you the results of whatever you put out into the universe. As with any life on earth, a seed, the cause, must first exist in order for anything to enter into and experience life, the effect. This is sowing and reaping in action. This principle is not complicated, but it is as certain and precise as the law of gravity. The outcome is predictable. The only thing that keeps a seed from growing is proper nurturing. With this principle, it's crucial to understand that the seed that is planted can only produce and must produce what the seed was designed to grow. Like the soil you would plant a seed in to grow a crop, the field of consciousness from the principle of mentalism is the soil for our seeds of thought. The two function in the same manner. The thought seed is planted through the principle of mentalism. The frequencies of vibration that we emit attract into the physical world the result of the thought seed that was planted and nurtured through the principle of vibration, and this results in a cause that creates an effect, tying these three principles together, what is commonly referred to as the law of attraction. If your thought seed consists of anxious, fearful, and doubtful end results, which correspond with anxious, fearful, and doubtful feelings or vibrational states, those thoughts can only grow into and produce the effect of those seeds that have been planted, receiving results that are the same as the thoughts and the feelings. If your thought seeds consist of happy, loving, abundant end results, which correspond with happy, loving, and abundant feelings or vibrational states, those thoughts also can only grow into and produce the effect of those seeds that have been planted, receiving results that are the same as the thoughts and the feelings. Once again, this principle is precise and knows no prejudice. So the choice is yours. The choice is to train yourself to limit your thoughts, words, and actions to only those which will produce what you desire in your life. If you must take actions that are out of alignment with that initially, be certain to keep your thoughts and wording in check, as well as continuing to monitor and adjust your feeling states. For example, if you are creating your reality to have a specific amount of money within a specified period of time, based on the precise and unwavering truths of cause and effect, sowing and reaping, it wouldn't benefit you to repeat to yourself either out loud or mentally, I don't have the money I need, or there's no way I will have the money I need on time. Your thoughts, the seed, and the corresponding feeling states will return to you exactly the harvest in relation to the seeds that you planted, in this case, not having the money. If you are intentionally making an honest and focused effort to produce the results that you want, and you find that stray thoughts pop up that are not in alignment with your goal, and it's almost certain that this will happen initially for most based on old subconscious patterning, which must be readjusted, these will be the weeds that try to take over your harvest. You must consciously and consistently pluck them out of the soil of your mental landscape and the field of consciousness so that you are not utilizing the law of cause and effect to produce the results that you no longer desire. You have the ability to gain control over this with two things, your conscious mind and your sheer determination. How bad do you want the new outcome? If it's a non-negotiable for you, 
remain determined and persistent, and decide that it is your conscious mind that will be in charge of your new habits until the harvest presents itself to you. Once this takes place, the only possible thing that can stand in the way of you receiving your desires is contradicting dominant thoughts and feeling states created by you. Only you can make the conscious choice to change your thoughts, words, and actions. In doing this with repetition, you will establish a belief within your subconscious mind. The subconscious mind, which is connected to the broader field of consciousness, then releases your thought seed into this field of consciousness while simultaneously broadcasting your aligned vibrations of that new belief, which will attract back to you people, events, situations, and circumstances that allow it to manifest into your life. You only have to be receptive to them. Expect it to happen and then watch as it does. The other four hermetic principles, which I'll outline briefly here and then go over in more depth in a later video, are the principle of correspondence, as above, so below, as below, so above. This principle suggests that the patterns and laws observed in the universe mirror those in our personal lives. I'll leave a video in the description that shows you how to alter your reality with your mind based on this concept. Next is the principle of polarity. Everything has its opposite, and opposites are identical in nature but different in degree. This principle highlights that contradictions are actually different aspects of the same thing. The principle of rhythm. Life is a series of ebbs and flows, highs and lows. This principle teaches that everything moves in cycles and recognizing this rhythm can help us navigate through life's changes. And then the principle of gender. Everything contains masculine and feminine elements. This principle emphasizes the importance of balancing these aspects within ourselves and in the world for creation and harmony. The interweaving of Hermetic principles with the esoteric knowledge of 33rd degree Freemasonry offers a revealing look into the use of ancient wisdom by the elite. This hidden knowledge serves as a tool for understanding and manipulating the layers of reality, demonstrating that the keys to the universe's mysteries are held by those who venture beyond the veil of the ordinary and into the realms of the extraordinary. One thing is certain, all of these principles have an underlying theme. It's a matter of choice to harness your internal workings to change your outer reality. I'll leave a couple of my other videos on the screen that you may find helpful in harnessing your internal power to transform your mind and therefore transform your life.